Hello, my name is Rachel Okello and I'm a British-based solicitor specialising in immigration and nationality law. Today I wanted to talk about British citizenship. Now it's an important area for me because I often get phone calls, particularly from young people who've been in the United Kingdom for some time, and even people who were born in the United Kingdom, and as they get older and they go through the system, they realise or they're told that they're not British, and this can come as a surprise to some people, particularly people who were born in the United Kingdom. Now, British citizenship comes under British nationality law, which is a complex array of rules, policies, procedures and statutes laid down by Parliament. But there are some basic ways that we can understand whether or not somebody is British. And I'm going to go through a few of those ways in this short video. So the first thing is, somebody born in the United Kingdom, are they automatically British? Well, they aren't automatically British. Today's immigration law says that if you are born in the United Kingdom, then your citizenship will depend on your parents. So if you are born in the United Kingdom and you have a parent who has British citizenship or indefinitely to remain at the time of your birth, then you are automatically British. You can apply to the passport office for a British passport. If you are born in the United Kingdom and your parents at the time of your birth, neither of your parents has British citizenship or indefinitely to remain, then you will automatically take, according to British law, you will take the nationality of your parents. Now, of course, your parents' country may have something to say about that, but as far as UK immigration is concerned, you will take the nationality of your parents. However, if you are born in the United Kingdom, and at any time after your birth, your parent, mother or father, acquires British citizenship or gets indefinitely to remain, then you can apply to become British yourself. Now, if you have no status, no nationality at all, it's a difficult one to prove because very often your parents' country of origin will actually grant you their nationality. But if you can't get the nationality of your parents' country of origin and you can't claim nationality from any other country, then you can make a stateless application and challenge the Home Office to give you British nationality based on the fact that you are stateless. Now, there are people who are born in the United Kingdom and their parents sometimes don't have any status at all. They, they're known as overstayers or illegal migrants and they don't have status at all. And if you are born in the United Kingdom and your parents don't have their proper immigration status sorted out, then neither will you, basically. You'll have the nationality of your parents, as we've said earlier. However, if you live in the United Kingdom 10 years continuously after your birth, then you can register as a British citizen. So you're born in the United Kingdom and you live here continuously for at least 10 years, then you can register as a British citizen. Now, in order to avoid complications, you should do that when you're still a minor, okay? So you shouldn't wait to become an adult because it'll get, the process will get too complicated. I also meet a lot of young people who have come to the United Kingdom when they're very young. So they've come to the United Kingdom, they've joined a nursery, and they've progressed right up into college, and then somebody's asked them, particularly in today's um, harsh immigration climate, they've asked them for their papers to prove that they are British or that they've got um, permission to be in the United Kingdom and a lot of young people don't have. Well you won't be able to claim British citizenship just because you came to the United Kingdom when you were very young and because you have a British accent and because you went to school and college in the United Kingdom that's not going to give you British citizenship. What you may find you have to do is make an application for leave to remain based on your long residence in the United Kingdom. So basically you'll have to start all over again. And once you have acquired the correct length of leave to remain in the United Kingdom, then you can acquire indefinite leave to remain. And typically, if you've had indefinite leave to remain for at least one year, and that's for people generally, if you have indefinite leave to remain for at least one year, and you've been living in the United Kingdom and you tend to live here permanently, then you can again apply to become a British citizen. So British citizenship is not automatic. It doesn't depend on you being born in the United Kingdom. It doesn't depend on you having an, a British accent, a London accent or a Birmingham accent. British citizenship is acquired or it's applied for. 
I'm Rachel Akello, I'm based in Birmingham. We do offer free case assessments to just see if you've got any grounds to make an application. If you feel that you would like to make an application for leave to remain or for nationality, you can contact our office. Our number is 01213-894-895. You can also follow us on Facebook at Rogals, R-O-G-O-L-S, Twitter, LinkedIn, or YouTube. So it's nice talking to you today and uh, keep in touch, follow us on social media and I'll be back shortly with another video. Thank you.